I was suggested this game by Womblethumb Nibblewright. It's a casual gardening game where you choose a plant pot, choose some starter plants, then name it, water it, and watch it grow. You get a free seedling each week so you can add more plants to your pot, and you need to weed it to make sure all your plants will grow okay. You can pay real human money to get various things such as extra plant types, a key to two rooms, and a map to some place called The Grove. You get snails on your plant pot that just mill around and you can sing to them for some reason. I called mine Stan Salad Keeper because why not? You can pick up and move this snail in the same way you can click on and move your plants, to rearrange them in whatever way you see fit and test your artistic flower arranging capabilities. I like symmetry, so I tried to make them all in a nice, orderly, linear fashion, but for some reason the plant pot decided to spin whilst I was doing this and ruin my straight lines. The game also likes to run in windowed mode and can't be swapped to full screen. The growth happens in real time, so as you can imagine, I couldn't quite record this like I do most of my other games and just sit through it all in one swoop. At first I thought real time meant you had to sit with the game open for ages for it to run, but it actually just pauses when you're not on it and keeps track of the time that has passed. Then when you re-enter the game it speeds through all of the time and shows your plants growing. There is a mode called vacation mode where your plants won't grow when you're off the game, but I think that's so you don't have to remember to water them. I don't know how I feel about the game's whole concept. Part of me thinks, okay, it's plants and plants don't grow quickly, but the other part of me thinks, well then what am I actually doing with the game? And that's the point it all boils down to. This isn't really a game. It's a simulation of plants growing in real time. You go on there for at most a couple of minutes just to click on some weeds, spray your seedlings and maybe sing to your pet snail. If you want, you can spray the snail with water too and make it wet. That's really all the content there actually is in the game, which is why this review is so short as well. The plants couldn't really grow at an increased rate because once they're fully grown, what then? Pull them out and start again? If you don't pay for anything in the game, then this is all you really get from it, and it's not like you can make a big collection of flowers or something. It's got soothing music and simple bright visuals, it's not taxing or tiring or difficult, you just hop into it, tend to your plants and then leave again. That as a concept is not an issue, but if you watched my Mushroom Cats review, you'll know that I don't think too highly of games that aren't really even games, and once again, I feel the need to play the devil. This game isn't bad. Nothing about it is bad, not the concept or design, anything. But you don't go on it to spend time. Your interaction with the game lasts a minute every now and again, and then you leave. If your dream is to own a houseplant, but you're physically incapable of doing so, then sure, this game is great. But if you want this for any other purpose, it's not gonna tick the boxes. If you could have any more input than just spraying some plants and watching a snail do laps, then I'd probably give it a higher score. But to me this game just feels empty. Some people in the Steam store said it was great because it's zen and relaxing, but whilst the atmosphere is quite calm in the game, there's a difference between a relaxing game like Hymno and a relaxing video of a plant with a snail sliding around the pot that requires minimal interaction from you. It's not bad, it's not dysfunctional, it's just a bit empty. And for that I'm going to give Viridi a 5 out of 10.